Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. Tune in for a vibrant mix of fashion, finance, and life's essential foundations. Join us for expert interviews, insightful discussions, and empowering insights to elevate your lifestyle. From fashion trends to financial tips and personal growth strategies, we've got you covered. So grab your headphones and get ready to be inspired. Tune in now to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show and embark on this exciting journey with us. We are back. Welcome back to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show. I am your host, M. Teresa Lawrence. Today I've had the pleasure to be with Mark Foster, and we continue our conversation. And in this, our final segment, I want to make sure to ask you what it is that you're up to now. What What is Mark Foster doing? <laughs> oh, God. Mark Foster is still adding to, like, finding the perfect programs that fit for the needs of Native Americans, right? Trying to sign like this guy up in Utah. And his name's Joe, man, amazing Joe. And like a great guy, he's got this great program up in Utah and we're trying to bring it into our, into our network, right? Like the, the difference, like that's just what it is. He's been my goal for like the last three or four weeks and like finally making headway with him. And I think he's gonna sign up with us today actually. So it's like an amazing and, thing. And when you say sign up with us, what are you well, like working with Transition Wellness, we don't just like we're working with like five different programs to place natives at wherever their needs are met or can be met for the best of their needs. Right. OK. Talk to me about Transition Wellness. What is it? Where are they located? How many states do they service? Right. OK. Transition Wellness, like basically we're working in like the southwest right now and we service like helping Native Americans get into treatment. So like transition wellness started out as just like two or three people working with just one center, right? And then all of a sudden transition wellness, it grew. And they were like, hey, Mark, you want to come over? Because I outgrew my place too. And so they're like, hey, man, come over and work with us. I said, let's do it. Since then, we've added four programs and we're getting bigger and we're, we got a lot of traction. And so like the needs of Native Americans to find safe places to go to treatment because Phoenix, Arizona, like it, uh, it put a bad scar on, on Native Americans going into treatment. It really put a blight on it. What happened over there? And we're trying to fix that. And we're not trying to fix it. We are fixing that, and we're finding safe places. So, for me, when we're talking about Native programming, I'm talking about safe places, not just program, but safe. That's like the most important. And so we're growing and transition wellness. So like it's transition wellness. T R A N S I. T I O N S wellness, W E L L N E S S dot org. If you go on there, any native can go on there. And what we're, our goal is, we are limited to getting insurance for some people or to helping them find insurance that's applicable for situations. Enrolled band members is the one that we can always help. But lineal descent, like that's, that's the part where so many natives tr struggle because we're not native enough. I fall into that category. I'm not native enough. Been on the reservation my whole life and everything. What but did, that's like fascinating to me. What is not native enough? But this is what I'll tell you, right? So there's like, if you got dog breeds, horse breeds, and natives. So dog has a blood degree, a horse has a blood degree, and a Native American has a blood degree. If you fall below the quantum, the government doesn't recognize you or your tribe doesn't recognize you. And so that's like the part that I want to change. I want to be able to help natives no matter what you're going through and find a way to put families back together. If you got that mom that's suffering with addiction, might fall under that threshold. My goal is to, and this is what I'm, this is what I'm going to do. I'm making a nonprofit and that nonprofit is going to be solely geared towards helping natives that need insurance. And I'm going to be lobbying to get donations to have a slush fund to get natives into treatment and to mm -hmm. put them into safe places to rebuild families and rebuild communities. That's like the next goal for Mark Foster right now, because we've got a big network with transitions. And how many, how many states? Oh God, man, we're working, we're working California. We can work Arizona. We are working Nevada recently. We're going to be working in Nevada. And there's a gentleman out in Texas in San Antonio. His name is Greg. He has a horse ranch. He wants to participate in this too, right? So we're trying to get Greg on board and we're trying to get our footprint a little bit bigger. But, uh, but yeah, we are working into Montana, Wyoming. The next one to crack into that we're trying to get to is either like South Dakota or maybe even North Dakota. But like 
if I get my nonprofit working to where I want and I get some people to step on board with that insurance, everybody can get treatment because there is there is there is insurance out there that will work for the purpose of getting people healed, healing families and all that stuff. And finding that platform to work from, that's like my next step. Like we got a network right now that's safe enough and good enough to put 25, 30 natives a month, right? The next goal is like this, this get the ones that are unhelpable, the ones that are, that are deemed not native enough, but not white enough or not whatever. Like there's a whole middle person right there that's been overlooked and I'm one of them. I've been lucky enough to find places to work and, and find a way through it to learn a little bit of knowledge about this industry. Mm -hmm. And the next step is making it happen and we can do it, you know? So like being here today, like, God dang, man, I need to step my game up. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so Mark, it has been a pleasure having you on the show and I'm going to give everybody else again, the contact information, transitionwellness.org. T-R-A-N-S-I-T-I-O-N-W-E-L-L-N-E-S-S dot -S org. It has been an incredible interview. You right. are so special and such a gift to the world for what you do. Right. And I know that this interview is going to help a lot of people. Um, I, just, I just think it's so important that we recognize the journey that Mark went through. That transformation is so necessary for all of us at every level and how this man represents going beyond the drift and finding the light and using God as the guide and sharing that with other people. So thank you from my heart for being here. I appreciate you. No, thank you. Oh my God, this has been such a joy, man. Like such an amazing opportunity and like, like, I'm not really sure how to put my phone number out there. Can I just put my phone oh, number yeah, out Oh, yeah, absolutely. It, you can say it. 760-685-2418. 760-685-2418. And one more time. 760-685-2418. And, like, if you want to participate or if you have any knowledge on nonprofits and all that stuff, um, please reach out to me because that's my next step. It's, like, the new frontier and, like, like I always hear so many people like, man, I got my nonprofit, I got my nonprofit. And I was like, all right, well, I'm not ready yet. But now all of a sudden I'm thinking I'm ready. And so like, I'm looking for people want a little bit of guidance. And if anybody has any of that stuff, like shoot, let's, let's spread this wealth and just get more people into treatment. And not only just so you know, man, like all races come to, come to Sweat Lodge, all races come and black, white, red, brown or whatever, everybody comes and we all sweat and it's like, find a way to heal, heal the people and heal the circle. Well, thank you so much. It has been a wonderful interview. And thank you all for watching and listening to us. If you want to reach, if you want to listen to the replay, it will be available on Roku TV, Amazon Fire TV, and the Android app. Just remember to subscribe to Building Solid Foundations channel. Thank you so much. Until next time. I am your host, M. Teresa Long. Welcome to the Fabulous Lifestyle Radio Show, where we talk about food, fashion, finance, and foundations of life. We are live on KCAA Radio Broadcasting Network. KCAA is affiliated with CNBC, NBC News, and NBC Sports. We are sponsored by Sheltered Studios, Fire Connect, and Building Solid Foundations.